film of the feed, so let's get into this tea. <clears throat> we about to get into um, Danny. She went live yesterday after her court situation with um, Sherelle and girl, yeah. This is YouTube talking to me. Let's get it. Oh, I'm tripping. Oh, shit. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. Hold on, y'all. I'm looking for my lip gloss in my purse. Um, how y'all doing? We fine, Danny. We just waiting on you to say something. Let me just go on here. I can't even answer a call. I'm gonna have to get off my page. Let me just Oh, all these all these her fans, you gonna have to get off my page. Let me just go ahead and block you. Let me just go ahead. I can't even answer a call. Damn, that was a that was an important call. So y'all, I just want to start by saying nothing that I do is for the internet because I don't owe the internet no explanation about anything. But keep in mind, first of all, I'm going to protect my brand before I protect myself. I'm going to protect my employees before I protect myself. So today was a court hearing. It was only for... A, um. A restraining order to keep her from going to my business this court hearing had nothing to do with defamation of character because if you all didn't know defamation of character is civil so we didn't go to court for no defamation of character stuff or anything i just hired an attorney last week for the defamation of character stuff so that had nothing to do with the court hearing today not last the court week. hearing today was only not last week and we <laughs> god damn it that danny She said she just hired her last week, and they they said she said that did she hired her yesterday morning. Lord, y'all got to stop lying. <laughs> so get give me a restraining order, so oh she won't God. go to my store, harass my employees, or whatever the case that she said she was gonna do on site. And when I seen her on site, I sat right beside her. Nothing was done. You said you didn't care about no court, no police, no security. You didn't care about nothing. When we walked out of court, we walked out of court. Actually, I was right behind her until she turned around, got on the elevator. I went on down, walked to my car. You walking right outside the court. I'm getting in my car. You said on site nothing. That's how you know people are just real clout chasers. From the very first time you went to my store two times, knowing that I wasn't there. The first time you went to my store, I'm at the airport on live with Corey, so you know I'm not at my store. The second time you went to my store, I'm going live at my house playing with Corey in the closet. So all this is really clout. So from this day forward, I don't even want to hear shit else about that. I ain't finna beef with nobody on the internet. We gonna beef in court. Just have your bag together. All the shit you posting, you ain't post no facts yet. Even when y'all y'all was hollering about, uh, oh, she got a car in this dude's name. No, nah, it's not a car. It's a loan. I'm like, I ain't never got no car, no loan. And nobody ain't come to find out. This shit is some safe home security shit. He had to get security for the tax offices he invested in. That's crazy as hell. Y'all dumbass on here. Oh, she got a car in his name. Oh, she got a loan. If you read the bottom of the paper, it clearly says safe home security. Y'all people weird so as she, hell. Huh? So she got safe home security in his name? I'm confused. I'm confused. Just weird for no reason at all. And then like all this little clout chasing shit, this and that. Man, come on now. I'm that <laughs> that confused the hell out of me. No cap. attorney a hoe ain't feeling you bring your ass back to my store recording with her glasses when she put up a picture with me with, with, with my gun and asked me what i was gonna do with it i told her ass in court 
You know what the hell I'm gonna do with it? You bring your ass back to my store after this restraining order. That you you'll find out. Cause one thing about me, a hoe ain't finna trick me out my. I'm going to court. <coughs> I'm going straight to the motherfucking court. I will say, uh, I'll rewind it. It was quiet for a second. I put up that recording with her glasses. When she put up a picture with me with, with, with my gun and asked me what I was going to do with it, I told her ass in court. You know what the hell I'm going to do with it. You bring your ass back to my store after this restraining order. That'll, you'll, you'll find out. Because one thing about me, a hoe ain't finna trick Friend, me I don't know why you can't resub. I'm going to just say create a new one. Create a new one. I don't know. I'm going to court. I'm going straight to the motherfucking court. I'm getting me a motherfucking attorney. Rich people, we don't beef on the motherfucking internet. We handle shit in court. We handle shit in court. Then another thing in court, she want to ask, she want to ask questions. I read her little post that I put up. She wanted me to read her post. You know, y'all, we was acting like lawyers and, 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 and all that shit in court today. She ain't have a lawyer. We were acting like that in court today. So, you know, I'm, read, I'm reading my book. Oh, she ain't have an attorney today. You didn't either, Danny. Investigator, <clears throat> uh, uh, no, uh, no, I'm not a licensed one. That's all I need to know, and that's all they need to know. You're not a licensed fucking investigator. You ain't got no reason to, to be investigating shit. At all. Just real life clout chasing. Which it don't make no sense. Like, damn, my service that bad? Girl, yeah, we don't know where you at. My service bad, y'all? Can y'all hear me? <laughs> Okay, let's go to the other live. She got another one. I just, you know, I don't understand. Um, I honestly, well, to defend my business, I would have to do some type of back and forth with her. But a lot of stuff that they doing, both of them, can really be in some shit. Or not. I don't know. The judge kind of sound like, uh, leave her alone. Leave her alone. That's it. <laughs> so, hey, J. Will. Hey, Boss Bay. I love you, too. <laughs> Somebody said, just go loud when you get home. <laughs> Hey y'all. So yeah. Now we can't hear you. So y'all, I'm finna tell y'all how the whole court day went. Hey, pretty brown. So I walked in. I walked in there like about twelve fifty. I went in there like twelve fifty because I had to go. I had to go get the police report and stuff like that first or whatever the charges that I pressed so I walked in there like 12 50 or whatever I sat right beside this girl on, pur on purpose because it's like all the stuff you do on the internet you want to say oh I don't care if she got security with her I don't care if we at court I don't care where we at it's gonna be on site so you know what shit I had my Lulu limit everybody wanna know I had my Lulu limit and my new balance on today. Like, ain't no reason to look professional. My my attorney ain't even with me today at this court hearing. This ain't nothing but a restraining order. So, I walked in. I sat right beside her on purpose. When I walked up, I said, oh, hey, Sherelle. You know, I speak because I got manners, you know. She looked at me. She was like, oh, hey. I said, I like your heels. I compliment her and everything. You know, I told her I like her heels or whatever. Even though them bitches was ugly as hell. And they was <clears throat> fucking in fashion metro heels. But... 
I told her ass I like her heels or whatever. It's fashion. Metro Metro is crazy. So she was like, uh, I sat down. I got in my phone or whatever. So she was like, so I'm trying to see why you came up here and, and told these people that I'm harassing you and this and that. I said, what? She said, I'm trying to see why you came up here and told these people that I was harassing you. I said, look, we can handle that here. She said, huh? I said, we can, we can handle that here. No, just answer my... I said, listen, I don't owe you no explanation on shit. I ain't got to answer your question. Like, I, I think I told her, like, I ain't got to answer a question or whatever. So we just sat there being quiet and shit. You know, not saying shit to so the people open the door, let us in. We walked in or whatever. Y'all already know I talk at a high-pitched voice like I'm from Mississippi. So I went first, played the little videos of her walking in the store, the clout chasing little videos. She knew I wanted to show y'all. Like I was the same day I was on live at the airport with Corey. So she knew I wasn't at the store at all, y'all. So she she walked in the store. I'm looking for Danny. Girl, you know I'm at the airport, but it is what it is. So I played the little videos of this and that, her walking in the store, her saying what she gonna do to me, this and that. You know. She asked me questions or whatever. She wanted to ask me, why did I um, call CPS on her kid? Keep in mind, I didn't even know who the fuck this girl was until this girl started fucking with me. And keep in mind, she called the IRS on me first. So when she called the IRS on me, her auntie that have custody of her kids reached out to me and asked me if I can help her keep custody by coming to court because I had her messages and everything that I can post. The lady asked me, can I come to court and just testify on how the, the things that she do on the internet is put her kids in danger. So the lady asked me to make a report and testify on everything that she doing. To Why would the lady ask her to do a report? I wouldn't have done that. I'm not even going to lie. You already got custody anyway. People on the internet putting her kids in danger. So that's, that's why I made the report. And keep in mind, she made a report on me first. All right. So she the called IRS. the IRS on me, and that's when the auntie Ooh, ended up hitting me up about the child. So I made the report because a lot of shit that she do, it is putting your child in danger. So after that, she played her little video. She played a little video of me holding a gun. So she was like, so can you explain to the court what this was? You holding a gun? I said right there in court. I said, that's the reason why I'm getting a restraining order. And shit, you come to my store again, you going to see. I feel on that though. And that's that. <clears throat> so yeah, that's all that happened in court. She walked out first. Stand your ground is very much so real, especially in Texas, Georgia. That's why I like certain states. But um, everybody ain't trying to fight. And that's one thing that Sherelle got to know. Everybody's not trying to fight. However, I wouldn't have called CPS, but I also wouldn't have called the IRS. Both of them just dead ass wrong as far as I'm concerned and need to squash this. I walked out behind her. She, um, we was getting on the escalator together. She turned around and went another way. I don't know if she went up or down. I don't know what she was doing. Next thing you know, I'm walking out in the parking lot. She walking out behind me. I'm getting in my car. She got in her car because she told me while we were sitting down outside, she said she was going to be at the Peach Cobbler Factory today. I told her, I said, after I leave court, I'm going to check on the Peach Cobbler Factory. She told me, me too. So I went to the Peach Cobbler Factory. I stayed there for like an hour. Then I went and checked on um, Voodoo Crab. I had to go check on my build out for Voodoo Crab in Deep Ellum. So I checked on it. And after I checked on it, I'm on my way back home. This one, this wasn't even a court case for somebody to go to jail. This was for a restraining Yeah, this is order. stupid Why petty. She like, it's, like, it's childish. You know what I'm saying? And, and granted, though, the problem is they both dealing with very serious allegations slash situations. Like, don't bring my kids in it. All right? My kids is my companies. You know what I'm saying? Don't bring my kids in it. You know what I'm saying? Don't bring my babies in it type shit. And this is just so petty. Man, oh, I can see a post up on the internet about her. Yeah, you can. Because but this if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for everything. So it is what it is. This wasn't even a quit for that, baby. This how you know, like, it's clout chasing. Even with the bun nigga. This bun dude, this dude was somebody I used to talk to y'all back in like 20 18 2019 the dude investing in five of my tax offices like he investing in five of my tax offices he couldn't hold up the bills he couldn't pay the bills the paper that he posted when he lied like i put a car in a loan in his name if you look at the bottom of that paper that paper say safe home security there was a security um service that he 
he had to put in his name for the tax company because he was the investor of my tax company. But I let y'all went on and oh, she gonna go to jail for putting a car. It wasn't, it wasn't even a car. It wasn't no car. It wasn't no fucking loan. It was fucking safe home security. So, yeah. So people just be cloud chasing. So like I said, whenever you come up with some proof, then she gonna get in court and gonna try to say, oh, what about the people taxes you putting in, in your bank account? I sat up there and I explained to her dumb ass. I said, yeah. that's how I know you don't know shit about having no tax company. I said, when you have a tax company, your even is tied, tied to the IRS bank. They send out the refunds. They only send me my prep fees. So how the hell somebody refund is going into my bank account? But you know what? Like I told y'all, we ain't even do all this on the internet no more. Like, uh, a bitch... I can't wait to see the proof of that. If she got some proof of that. You got to have proof of that. I need to see be for me. Bitch gonna have to be for me in court. So you just make sure you have your motherfucking bag. You make sure your money up for your attorney. Because just like they told you next court day, bring your attorney. So bring a pay attorney to court because I already got mine. Don't no courtroom scare me. At all. At fucking all. even know Corey actually responded on my live. Damn, babe. I'm sorry. <laughs> I ain't gonna speak on it no more. But anyways, you guys, while well, I got you all here, like, we having a grand opening at the Peach Cobbler Factory in Free this weekend. It's gonna start at 12 o'clock noon. Um, we're staying open to 12 midnight. So that's our new hours of operation from 12 noon to 12 midnight. It's gonna be a big celebration. This is the 100 store that's opening. You can come out, the um, actual owner, Greg George is gonna be there. Um, Mr. Peachy is gonna be there. Corey is gonna be there. Like She said the actual owner. Like giving a lot of advice, a lot of knowledge to the upcoming YouTubers. So it's gonna be very, very big. It's gonna be very big. And I'm so Corey, I just accepted your request to join my house. I'm just trying to figure out, like, hey, why. Babe. I'm trying to figure out like, why you on live entertaining this bullshit, man. Okay, I'm about to get off. Yeah, I ain't tell you to get off, but, like, you had to get on talking about the same old shit, man. That shit old, that shit dead. Like, you, you in a fucking Lamborghini. It ain't old or dead. I just left court. What the fuck is you talking about? You ain't right now. Come to your restaurant. <laughs> Talk about how your day been at the restaurant. Need the other shit where it is at. You keep entertaining it, and then you go continue to just go on as long as you entertain it. Okay, Corey, that's it. But thank you. I was talking about my restaurant when you. No, you was. When I got yes, on live, I was, I was, I was, I was telling you to come to the grand opening. Man, I yeah. I'm yeah, right shit, I'm definitely doing eighty on the highway, Blaze. Okay, so from now on, from now forward, we're gonna talk about the grand opening. I Okay, I just eight, eight, eight was on the screen. I'm doing this. I said we just gonna handle stuff in court. All right, cool. I like the sign of that now. I don't like all that other bullshit. Made my stomach hurt just then. Okay, did you take the car to get service? Yeah, we the, we gotta drop it off before we leave to go to Turks. If we get the oil changed, when we get back, the oil will be changed. And yeah, you know, you we gotta go to New York. Um, yeah, yeah, all that, all that shit situated. And we gotta get ready to go to uh, Turks. I mean, not Turks, but New York. Gotta go to New York. What day we go to New York? I'll Can tell you, you just send me like a whole schedule? And don't forget about those two um, interviews, the radio interviews we gotta do before we leave. So I wish I had time to do it, but I'm driving. What like, I had a whole itinerary. What the fuck are you? I'm just leaving. Yeah, um, time Buddha crab. Home. I had went and checked on the, the build out process, but they haven't really started yet. Like, they was waiting on the last permit to get. Approved. So I had yeah. one that checked on that. Oh yeah. The voodoo crowd gonna be crazy. That's the seafood restaurant by the way, y'all. Y'all know what we're talking about. Alright then, that sounds good. I like the sign of that. So you going to rest? Where you okay, alright, cool. Don't worry about so listen, it. Right. um everything that we gotta do before we leave, can you just 
can you just put it in your notes and send it to me so I can keep up with everything? Of course. All right, bet. Go back to your live. Go enjoy your live. Be safe in the room. So okay, I'll no All right, love. I'll ask you. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Well, we heard both sides. They both kind of sound the same. Um, I guess we just going to figure out uh, where it's going to go from here. And that's it. What the fuck? Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.